A call to ban wildlife killing contest in Maryland, and so many people didn't even know these are legal. Today, a bill got rid of them and was presented to the House of Delegates. And this after the Humane Society captured photos of what they say is the aftermath of one of these contests showing hundreds of dead animals. So WJZ is live tonight. Sean Stryker actually spoke to people who are both for and against this bill. Sean? Yeah, well, those in favor of the bill say these contest hunts are the senseless killing of animals. Those opposed to it say they do serve a purpose. They help keep these predatory animals in check, which then in turn help keeps farm and livestock safe. These photos, which WJZ chose to blur, show animal carcasses piled one on top of the other. They're images taken during an undercover investigation by the Humane Society of the United States that looked into organized contest hunting in Maryland. It's just killing for the sake of killing, turning it into a game, and it's something we shouldn't stand for here in Maryland. The contests typically award cash or prizes for whoever kills the most or biggest animal with fox, raccoons, and coyotes oftentimes being the target. Delegate Dana Stein, who represents District 11 in Baltimore County, is the sponsor of the bill. The contests are not to provide food for anyone, they're not to protect the environment, nor are they part of a responsible species management program. Many times after the contest is over, the bodies of the dead animals are dumped as trash. Jeremy Brown, who hunts in these contests, says that's not always the case. He donates the fur of the animal to a local fur dealer, adding that the photos can be misleading. In one night, when, when one of those pictures makes it look like all those animals are taken on one farm, that is completely not true. It's not possible. Uh, we take these animals on a, over four counties. And while the bill doesn't prohibit an individual from hunting these animals on their own, those in opposition say it does make it harder to protect their farms and livestock. Every night you go to sleep, if you fix a hole in a building, the raccoons chew a hole on a different side. They say every time these hunts are occurring, they notice a decrease in these incidents. Now, should this bill pass and become a law, Maryland would be just the sixth state where these contest hunts are illegal. Reporting live tonight at 7, Sean Stryker for WJZ.